Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to continue to play more of Curious Expedition 2. Uh, we came back from the other place and now we're going here. Uh, let's see, it's Santa Victoria's office at the arranged time and found her waiting impatiently. As I told her of my journey, her eye shone with excitement. She peppered me with questions. Intense in her hunger to learn every detail about my expedition hours passed before she was satisfied Eventually Victoria revealed that she had been collecting she had been collecting reports and that the machine we had found on the first island seemed particularly important Okay She needed to go but pressed a handful of expo tickets in my hand as she escorted me out of her office uh, they were as good as gold in this area, particularly at the Explorers Club. But I want to change the difficulty, so we're going to recruit, I guess? I gave... yeah, because didn't... did we lose somebody or no? Gave word that I was looking for a reliable companion during my expedition. Soon, I had gathered a small set of candidates to choose from. Let's see... Scared of heights. That might be pretty good, actually. Not, well, not the scared of heights. Free naval flare for each map. <coughs> Field nurse. Oh, did I want... Hang on. I didn't mean to do that. Choose another recruit. I'm sorry. Who is the field... Field nurse. Okay, let's see. Tends to swing between extreme feelings of loyalty and disloyalty. That's not helpful. Increasing speed. Heal speed, that's that would be nice. Uh marksman suffers from an irrational fear of what is unknown or mysterious. Increased damage using guns. Capacity two, that's interesting. Uh we might be taking Honestly none of them. But we'll take the We'll take the soldier, I think. Yes, I do! Confirm! Okay, good. He saluted me, Grismy, and it would be good to have such a disciplined soldier on the team. Okay, leave. Done. Okay, that's good. I was excited to leave the tavern, but I never received a note from Lux Lab inviting me to the Sith Club Hall. I was excited to see how the new technology marvels and all. Uh, this one. Eddie bought the automation... That served as Edison's representation here in Paris. Flatly welcomed me to the club. I was permitted to return at any time. It invited me to browse the club shop. There wasn't much available yet, but in time I could access, I could earn access to more useful items. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, there's a lot of things in here. Do I have to trade? What the heck? A stun prod. Bittersweet lemonade. Oh, yes. How do I, how do I get, how, do, how does one? I don't want that, I want this. Can I just not have this? Oh, I can't afford it. Uh, I wasn't sure I wouldn't regret to purchase this uh, upgrade of equipment. Oh my goodness. Hello? Holy cow. We just upgrade everything. That's seven. That's nine. Let's upgrade this the prod here. Yeah, let's make that more dangerous. That sounds like a good idea. I can upgrade this as well, can't I? Nice. Okay, good. Sounds blah 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 blah. Okay, sounds of heading machine thing. Okay, when I returned to the expedition grounds, it was quieter than I left them. I enjoy the rare moment of peace in the city. Uh, s dismiss the character. You have a full party. Oh, I have to get rid of somebody.
What do you do? Conceal from locations? You, I might dismiss you. It's time to dismiss, uh, yes. Departed ways, leave, okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, this is our nice new ragtag team. Map in stone or triangles of, trials of triangulation. Oh, uh, let's put this. Lead the mysterious travel. Oh yeah, this one. Let's start with this one. The map in stone. Select a sponsor. Oh, we get to choose different ones. That's interesting. Uh, we're just going to use the same guy. Uh, I decided to indulge a few drinks the night before the expedition before we departed. As I entered the bar room, I noticed two people standing near a table, speaking loudly. Apparently, they had caught the largest fist imaginable that day. Getting myself a drink, I settled in to listen. They went on and on, describing the things length, width, color, flight that it had put up. Both of them were so proud of their catch that I had to smile. As I lay there in bed later that night, I hoped that my own discoveries would make me as happy as the two gentlemen. Way Edgar! Uh, as I neared the site of uh, site of expedition, a small supply ship pulled alongside. I'm grateful for Lexa for providing me with the funds by provisions. Yes. Okay. Wait. Somebody should carry this. That's fine. I don't care about that. Uh. Ooh. Weather balloon. Chocolate seems useful. Torches. Colorful marbles. This is that lemonade they were talking about. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. This stuff's expensive! Holy cow! I'll have two marbles and I can't buy it. Uh, well. No, I can't even do that. Dang, okay. Well, I guess that's it for me then. Jeez. How am I supposed to do this if you want me to live? <laughs> Spend all the money, sure. Uh, this fact is this extra, uh, bring extra water from your ship to easier travel. Okay, refill water. Build separate containers of extra water, sip storage. Uh, we need more water. Ship storage, how much water do we have? Uh, we can bring more because if we run out of water, I'm gonna be highly upset Great, we're gonna live off of water and chocolate That should be fine. Okay, good enough uh, Let's go already jeez the length uh, the legends are told of a great treasure among the islands But there was only one problem. No one knew where it was located Fortunately, Lex Labs had found a clue at the island that an island was located in the ancient Circle of circles of stone that are rumored to lead to the treasure. I would need to find the circles, stone circles, to uncover the true location of the treasure that I sought. Nice. And encounter islanders in the wild. Visit an island. Complete the village quest. I was reading that. Thank you. Oh, this thing goes faster the closer I am. Oh gosh, it's not even a compass. Rest at a village, visit a sacred site. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, how do I... Is this what I want to do? Uh, I guess... Ah, 
let's go there at least. Oh, I didn't bring any water with it. Did, oh my goodness. Am I dumb? Oh, I did. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Where are we? What are we doing? Approach the scout's post. Yes. The islanders in this region were had set up a small dwelling that they used for resting places. Uh, we greeted each other wearily. We greeted each other wearily. A scout direction. Do we have to trade for this? Ah. Uh, sure. Uh, scout destination. Do we want to go there? I guess so, right? I mean, there's things here, too. That's 20 days. Hmm. I kind of want to explore here. He can explore there. We'll go over here in a second. Approach the islanders. Yeah, because don't I have to do that? Uh, we met a small group of islanders led by a priest outfitted with the strange primitive uh, accoutrements. Uh, we, gre we greeted them carefully, not sure what to expect. Woman pounded her staff against the ground, claiming loudly in a strange language. The lady certainly had a pinch penchant for the dramatic. Over time, she made herself understood. She was demanding that we pledge fully to her heathen god. Um, do we have to give anything up? Placing her hands on her chest, we indicated the repeated described words. She seemed satisfied by my show of faith. Being religious, Emathea became noticeably upset by this gesture. After time, I learned to communicate with the priest. He was anxious to move on. I only had time for one request. Ask about the... Ask for food. As a show of goodwill, they offered us a small amount of food from their stories warmly. Thank God. Okay, so nice. It's time for go. That's cool, I guess. Uh, we will approach the cave. I get it. He's upset. I understand. I'm sorry, whoever you are. Which one of you? This guy? Somebody's upset. I know. I'm sorry. Nice. Uh, we will approach the cave, please. Oh, but the cave's gonna be dark. I peeled. Uh, we peered into a small cave where I stood and they could see nothing but darkness inside. Enter the cave! Roll! We did it. Oh my goodness, that's a giant bat. Taking care of the dark, I managed to find a path without further problems. As far at the far end of the cave, it seemed. A sense of slow movement. I approached, but stopped immediately as soon as I could see what 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 it was—a giant bat, snacking on some flat from fresh fruit. Oh, I thought it said flesh fruit. I was like, oh gosh. Steal the fresh fruit or attack? Attack! Right? Uh, roll. Uh, fighting spirit. When you end your turn in combat, you gain sanity equal to the current fighting spirit. Fighting spirit reduced by one each turn, eventually becoming negative and causing you to lose sanity. If fighting spirit causes you to search to reach zero, so you automatically flee the combat. So you have to do this quickly, is what you're saying. Holy cow. Okay, good. And then we'll do this guy. Right? Should we do someone with like a taunt? Yes. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. Uh. Okay, we only have so many turns here, dudes. Okay, I think we're gonna do is he's gonna taunt. 
And he's also going to get the shield. And we're going to re-roll and hope we get something useful. End your turn. Okay. Ow! But he had a shield. He had a shield. So we did the thing. We did the right thing there. Uh, I think we're going to be able to do this. I feel like vulnerable... Yes, and then this. Yes, they're extra vulnerable now. Okay, good. And then that should just. No. Oh wow. Okay, good thing. Boom. Okay. Punch him. That's right. Punch the bat. Okay. What do we got here? Uh. Yes, please. Well, we don't need the raw meat. Oh, we can actually take it all. I thought we could only take so much. Okay. The fight had gone in our favor. The mood was lighty, lightning and our bags were full. There was nothing left for us here. Leave the cave. Okay, perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Do we eat this now? I think we do. And then we can like, now we can go here. That's a lot further away, but I think that's okay. Wait, did, did the thing, did we not, what happened? I'm so confused, did we lose something? <laughs> Shoot! I think I should not. I think I should go down. I don't think I should be going up and around, and I think that's. No. Mysterious fog draws closer each day. Be careful not to take too long. I mean, is that where we have to go? I think it's where we have to go, isn't it? Uh, you're near a butterfly. Collect butterflies to earn points. Ooh, how do I... Where? Where? This? Alright, well, we're gonna approach the time. We're gonna collect the butterflies next. A forgotten temple stood bathed in the light of the uh, before me. Tendrils of dark purple fog swirled about it, much like the mysterious mist that surrounded the island. Mm, here we go. Inside a small, dark chamber, a long hallway led to an altar room. I stepped carefully, uh, weary of traps. Search for secrets. We could do this. Let's go. Boom! Oh, yes. We definitely did. Yes! Better loot. All right. That's what I like to hear. As I ran, hand, as I ran my hand over the rough surfaces of the wall, a string of arcane runes flared to life, seeming to carve themselves into the stone before my very eyes. Examine the writing. As I studied the writing, my mind became strangely focused. I found myself speaking words I had never heard before, chanting their strange song at my will. That must have been the fact that you, you know, pledged yourself to some deity over there. I lost consciousness briefly when I came to an inner glow suffused my being. Enter the altar chamber. Yes, we found the secret altar room. A thin layer of mysterious fog hit a bit of the base altar. A fear of disturbing the treasure would cause the fog to spread. Investigate the altar. Uh, yes! Let's do it! <laughs> a strange sensation in my stomach as the floor dropped away. Then we emerged from the shrine. Saw great bank, uh, banks of dark fog gathering on the horizon. Uh, it's this guy... Imithea, Im, Im, Imithi, his superstitious apparently was clearly f furious that we had disturbed this place. Yeah, true. But also, guess what? How do I collect the butterflies? Uh, when traveling through tar, you become covered in tar. While covered in tar, you're forced to stop moving after five days. Covered in tar wears off eventually, but washing off by resting at a location of passing through fresh water. How, how does one collect butterflies? Or did I already collect them? Wait. 
We might be a bit screwed, I think. Um, hello? I can't even get over there. Find all of the circles, complete the map. Nothing is detected. Oh, that's not good at all. Uh, multiple waypoints. The track out of valley chooses the path of destination in which uh, cost leads my same, but not necessarily the best option. Approach the elephant graveyard. Ooh. This foreboding place was situated in the midst of the swamp, strewn in the remains of a long dead elephant. Hundreds of impressive animals have come here to die. As I carefully made my way through, Towards the bones of the great beast, I noticed the tracks of scavengers had visited. If I tarried, I was sure to be attacked. Search before wildlife returns. Yeah, okay. Luckily, I was nimble enough to quickly search the site before dangerous wildlife returned. The ivory recovered from these great beasts had great value. I could not simply stand by. Okay, see the items. Yes! Take all. Heck yeah. As I took the tusk, I remembered a lesson I learned long ago. The elephants have been keen sense of smell and perfect memory. I would do well to avoid beasts in the future. You mean like the one that's like right there? Uh... Yeah... Boy, we are, we don't, we're, um, <laughs> we're in trouble, is what I'm understanding. We are absolutely just in trouble. Because we don't have any, like... We have no, like, food, and there's, like, nowhere to rest. Ah, uh, a catastrophic event has occurred. Recovering. Oh, I don't have chocolate or anything like that. I don't have anything. I used it all. I trudged forward, doing my best as an example of the trek, but I was weary, so weary, I needed to take some action to improve the party's morale. Approach the waterfall. Yeah, that's what we need. We need to rest. Oh, thank goodness. We could just rest here. Something about resting. Refill water. Well, we don't need to refill the water. We just need to rest. This is like the same as before. The night, that night I stayed up late, unable to fall asleep. I sat by the fire and noticed him tossing and turning to sleep, having a restless night. Oh, because he's upset because we did the thing. Oh, man. He began to whisper strange things in his slumber, his voice barely audible as he rasped out an uncanny litany of words drawing closer i was able to make out a few phrases no i shouted to kill him i heard never have heard before he fell silent as he approached though he said no more that night i could be many hours before i was able to sleep yikes so we need to sleep. Rest. As we sat comfortably by the fire, we began to uh, began to do good-natured demand of a story of my travels. Uh, tell a good story. Nice. I regaled Imithea with a tale of the early days when I was a young and hale at first tasted adventure. I uh, clearly enjoyed the tale and I could see a newfound respect in his eyes. Okay, good. So we're making progress with him because he's upset because we not only stole the thing, we also pledged our allegiance to some random deity out there. 
So he is not happy with us. After days of rest, we still enjoy the rumbling of the waterfall. Yeah, we're just gonna keep resting. Because we need all the energy we can get. Uh, Amethia began to hum low. In the way, the hum gave way to most perplexing melody and strange at first, but at the moment felt at peace. He's in a good mood. All right. And we have a skeleton dude. I'm not sure why, but that's that's where we are. Okay, so we need to... Okay, we're good now. Now we go. Now we're ready to go. Okay, leave. We have water. Approach the islanders. Do we need to approach the islanders? Maybe. Maybe approach them because we might be able to get something. And Carlos Mogu of Foragers, one of the groups enthusiastically told the story of an enormous fish that she had caught. Just like the other people, they boasted of their achievement, but there were sadly no witnesses. Her fellows teased her good natured about the veracity of her tale. It seemed that some things truly are universal. I would never again I would never gain fame from such an encounter, but a la but later on such memories remained fond as fond to me as a reminder of small amounts of life. Is that it? Oh I don't uh oh I thought I was gonna do something else. Okay. Welp we probably need to keep going south I guess. I don't know where this thing is. Maybe this is the thing? Hopefully. Approach the ancient circle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I approached the first stone circle. According to legend, the first piece of the map would be found here. Study the stones. Pulling forth a large roll of paper I had brought on for that I had brought for the purpose, I carefully copied the etching of the stone. My map was beginning to take shape. Oh shoot. So the other one is, I gotta find the other one. Well, we are probably in a bit of trouble then. Shoot, it's gotta be over here. I mean, there's that. I'd say we risk, no, we go here. We talk to this guy and we try to buy some stuff. Approach the trader. And hopefully he'll have supplies. To my surprise, I encountered a colorfully dressed traveler merchant. He wide bright a grin. He saw me. Uh, he gave a wide grin when he saw me placing a bulging pack full of wares on the ground. I hesitated. He hesitated before presenting us with a selection of wares. I couldn't help but wonder how he acquired such goods so far from home. Oh, okay. We need stuff. We are in so... We are in shambles, basically. You have literally nothing. This. Give me all of these. What do I need for that? Will you take this? Well, how about the butterfly collection? You don't even care about that. Meat? Tooth? Tooth? Uh, oh, I don't want to give up their thing, though. Boy, you really just don't want anything. How about the shovel? Dang! Really? Ho! Oh, I did not mean to do that. What do I have to give this guy? Is that worth it? Come 
kind of want to keep... No, I, I want that. No, no, I definitely want this. Okay. Okay, our business is included. Yeah, okay. Oh, boy. Uh, we need, like, all of this. Okay. Because we still have to find the other thing. Oh, man. We are so in trouble. Approach the monolith. This is not what we want to do. The monolith towered above me. It's... Classy surface, unlike anything I've seen before, it was a dark island fog that had been captured in solid shape. Touch the monolith. That's a good idea. As I lay my hand on the surface of the monolith, the shock uh, coursed my body. Images of the island flashed before my eyes. Too, fa too fast to take in places that I have been, places I had not. My mind scrambled for the purchase and the flood of slowly, slowly I forced myself to focus on an image in a single place. Oh, that could be super, super helpful. Also, where in the heck is this? That literally, it must be that. I was thinking it might be this. I don't know what that is, but okay. Oh, are we going to make it there? Apparently. Uh, covered in heavy tar, I had not noticed, but uh, bring, bring, uh, bring our trek to a halt. We were exhausted and needed both time and to recover. Passing through water could help us clean. Yeah, we already, we already said that, but we don't have any water. Here. I know! There. Oh, but we have, like... We have nothing. I can't rest here either. Where's the closest resting spot? It's way down there. Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna have to just... We're gonna... Yep. We're gonna have to just try it and hope... I uh, pushed myself, uh, push myself beyond the point of endurance, beyond what a sane person could endure, calling a holiday something to the ground and collapsed unconscious. Uh, oh, how convenient. Uh, maintaining a healthy diet was difficult in the expedition, and Sergeant Lewis Clark began to feel the effects. His skin looked dry and bruised. So that's the punishment that he got scurvy. Um, hold on. Why am I all the way down there? We're just resting. We're just gonna sleep until we get all everything. And this guy's apparently singing. Oh, why did you... Oh, no, because... Shoot, and I even had a teleporter, too, and I could have probably gotten... I could have probably gotten really close. I am. I know, I'm skipping some of this stuff here, but, like, uh... Behind the... Ooh, wait, hang on. Unless by the streaming contest is... Oh, sure, sure, except the flowers. Sure, that's fine. Smiling slightly, he reached uh, out to hook a bouquet. Uh, we spent the remainder of the evening holding hands. Nice! Okay! Sure, why not, dude? Let's go. Okay, but we do have a problem, because somebody's probably going to die here, because we have our sanity, but we're going to have to fight the elephant, I think. Right? Because now we have to get all the way over there. It's 60 days! Maybe we can get past the elephant? Ah, uh, surprise attack. No, shoot. Woo, this sucker is huge. Ah, uh, we should just flee now. Thank you very much. Ha ha ha, no way. We do not stand a chance against an elephant. As much as I want to be like, yes, there's no way. 
Though we escaped without further incident, I was left shaky and anxious for the rest of the day. Oh man, we really need to get going. And this stupid tar stuff is really screwing us up. Okay, there. Come on, we're back. And I inspect. Who's <laughs> Where he's gonna die? Somebody's gonna die here. Uh, in the wilderness, there's nothing possible to prevent injury from being infected. Injuries became suddenly inflamed. I don't have anything. I have no. You want some water? Some butterflies? <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't have anything for you, and this fog is going to kill us. But apparently, you're in a good mood. Okay, good. Okay, once again, let's try this again without dying. He's feeling strange. I know you're dying. I get it. You have scurvy. I can't do anything. I'm sorry. I just... Hush. We're about to live. My heart began to beat faster as I came to the final circle. It was almost finished. Complete the map. Yes! Let's get out of here. At long last, my map was complete. I could not wait to return to Paris to plan my next expedition. Triumph! Oh, thank goodness. We almost died. But are they still, like, injured? They might still be injured, so... Something to consider that we might still be in trouble there. And we brought back all the good stuff. Look at all this good stuff. We have all the money and everything. Right. What is this? Okay. Good reputation adds standing at the start of the island. Mountain air reduces movement costs from climbing the plateaus. Removes desert. Well, that's just it though. How do I know when we're going to be in the desert versus... Sure. I returned to Paris. A rather suspicious gentleman approached me, told me an excellent bargain on equipment. Uh, okay. Just don't ask how he acquired it. Oh, all sorts of availables, shops, this thing. Oh, okay. So this guy's going to have some other things. Okay. Very cool. I believe that we'll probably do just like one more of these and we'll do the three check marks and get through the expedition. Uh, but we're going to have to do that next one, though. These ones actually run pretty long for what I would like. Cool. I do like this game. It's cool. It's like, it's that extra treasure and trying to collect everything and you got to balance like all that stuff like we could have just teleported right there are, are these people still like does he no he does not have scurvy i was wondering if he still had like scurvy but it does not look like it not dead nice uh, okay, either way, I think we are going to leave this one here, and then we'll, uh, we'll come back for another one here, and we'll see what the last one is, and that'll probably be the it for this, um, probably, anyway, we'll see. But, for now, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed everything, and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya!